Husk, Kevin, nice win tonight. I mean, I know you got done what you wanted to get done, but uh, your thoughts tonight? No, yeah, I, you know, one of the things, you know, we talk about before the game in a situation like this is making sure we're playing our game. And right. We stay fundamental and uh, build habits that are going to lead to success in this game, but right. also um, in practice tomorrow and the next sure. day and the next game and the games to come and building those habits that can last and uh, sustain a, uh, a ch championship-type program, you know. All right. Well, you know, you come in, you're, you go to 4-2 and two tonight. You know, a good win over McLean County the other night. What's your thought on your squad uh, up till now? You know, we uh, just the same as last year, we come in with some injuries into the preseason and kind of just figuring things out through our scrimmages and what rotations look like are instantly changed when you have two or three go down. And Right. Uh, I'm, I'm impressed with our, our girls and their attitudes and their focus. Right. Um, you know, and it's one of the things we've kind of called for the past couple games is our defense intensity and our effort and our level of defense to improve. And I think sure. the girls have responded to that, and I think that started with McLean County this past weekend. That's great. And, you know, I know you got some good leadership on the squad, Bailey Poole, Lily Roberts, Ella House. Uh, you know, Bailey's a senior, you know, and I, it, it's it's bittersweet, you know, isn't it? Yeah. You know, uh, uh, Bailey started playing varsity for me as an eighth grader my first year, so we've kind of been through this together. And right. Emma came up, Morris is another senior came up shortly after and uh, has uh, you know worked herself into a, a very very quality varsity player and yes. uh, their leadership and maturity and just we just know each other so well right you know that's uh, well, I'll tell you, it's been fun from a from a broadcast standpoint you know the thing I like about your team uh, they battle you know and that's really all you can ask somebody to do exactly you know the things that we talk about we want Hornet basketball to be about is if somebody's going to beat us, they better bring their A game and their exactly. A effort. And uh, if they beat us, they beat us. But they're not going to beat us because we laid over. Exactly. And uh, I think that's pretty evident when you watch how we go after loose balls, after we you know, scramble for the ball when it's on the floor. I think uh, it's pretty clear to see the team uh, battles. Well, you know, congratulations, of course, on, the, on another win. But more than that, wish you the best of luck as the season continues here. You. you know, we've really just gotten started. Yep. And uh, we're, I think we're going to be back in here Thursday. Yes, girls are playing here Thursday, right? Uh, we play Breck, boy, girl, this Friday. Okay, okay. So, at home, so. We will have both of those. Yeah. We will, that game will be on the, the Third Region Sports Network. And uh, so, folks, uh, again, uh, you can't come out and support them here publicly. Uh, certainly, we're here to, where you can back this team. But, Coach, yeah. do want to wish you and your team the best of luck here in the rest of the season. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, folks, that's head coach Kevin Husk here after another win tonight. And uh, they're on the 4-2 and two on the season. And uh, wish them the best. That's going to about do it for us here. This is Joe Crosby with head coach Kevin Husk on the Third Region Sports Network. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Domtar Gymnasium here on the campus of Hancock County High School. This is Todd Count alongside Danny Gray, and uh, glad to get Danny back on the mic. Uh, yeah. He, uh, you having uh, girl girl basketball duties is kind of cut limited to on uh, some of the broadcasting. Yeah, I let the coaches do their own schedulings, and some days I regret that. <laughs> but. Uh, Tonight uh, got the first district uh, matchup for the the Hornets. Uh, Lady Hornets come off a big win a uh, while ago, and and uh, it was good to you know see them take care of business. But yeah, we got to figure out a way. Like in practice, I mean, that first five or seven that we got are so good in practice, and they play so relaxed, obviously in mm -hmm. practice. And then tonight, you know, they did the same thing. They got to figure out. I know it's hard, but they got to figure out a way to play relaxed. Yes. Yep. It, All the time. You yep. Know. They get so wound up. On, you, know, you know, winding themselves up. Yeah, exactly. I've seen, you know, I've seen, uh, uh, of course, I've, I've, 
a lot of them softball girls, so oh, I, yeah. I, under, I understand what you're dealing with on that. I think they're going to do the national anthem Okay. Here. We'll take a uh, two-minute break. Uh, you're going to watch exciting Hornet basketball on the Third Region Sports Network. Welcome back to Dom Tar Gym here on the campus of Hancock County High School as we get set for starting lineups. First up for Cloverport. All right, first up for the Aces of Cloverport. At guard, number two, Dorsey Emery. He's a 5'10 sophomore guard. Cole Weatherholt, number 20. Cole is a junior guard. 32, Thaddeus Hall. Thaddeus is a senior forward. 33 is Connor Lagadinos. Connor is a senior. And last was Nathan Poole, and he's a senior yes. as well. All right, Caleb Cowan, he's a 6'4 senior, guard forward center. Cole Dixon, six foot senior guard. Twenty-two, Luke Brown, 5'10 senior. Number 24, Devin Pyers, he's a 6'2 senior guard. And Ryan Ogle, the man in the middle, 6'4", senior. Notice the starting lineup was a little different, and, and uh, I think you just said that uh, Ryan Ferry is – Evan. I mean, Evan, excuse me, is uh, – He'll miss today and tomorrow, I think. Okay. Honoring uh, Caleb Cam yeah. for – and. Uh, Danny, uh, 
I don't know if there's too many families in this state that's had the father and, <laughs> and all three uh, of the uh, children. It's a lot of pressure, isn't it? Uh, yeah, to <laughs> all four of them being the 1,000-point club. That's a pretty amazing feat right there. A lot of points. Yes, it is. That's what I, I told Kevin when they were all standing there. Uh, all four of them were there. It's, uh, it was over 4,000 points scored there in a the Hancock County uniform. And then, you know, you think to those players like uh, King Kelly Coleman and all them that scored 4,000. Yeah, yeah, by themselves. I mean, like, really? All right, Caleb Cowan with the tip. Back to Luke Brown and hand off to Cole Dixon. Cole run the point tonight with Ferry out. Looks like Cole Port's man-to-man. Left side, this is Devin Pyers looking for Caleb. Mm, had Ogle right there on the yeah. block. It didn't go to him. There he is. Yep. Ryan in the post. Spins up the lane. Goes up and good. Nice little fall away there by Ryan. That, that's hard to defend right there, Danny. Yeah, that's, that was a nice shot. If he makes that shot, he's on. Ryan's got a tendency, the times I watched him, to have 12 points the first three minutes of the game. Yes. And then most times when I see him, it's fouls. That <laughs> yep. Gets him in trouble. Three-pointer straight away, no good. That was by Lagadinos, but uh, – the bugaboo the other night reared its ugly head already as uh, Cloverport gets a second chance. All right, back out front, Lagadinos. He has the ball top of the key, being guarded by Luke Brown. Poked away by Dixon, scramble for the ball. Dixon comes up with it, comes out of there going right side as it poked away by uh, I Weatherhold. I think that was Weatherhold. Yeah, nice yeah. job there by Weatherhold to uh, not quit on the play and uh, come up. Cole had one on each side of him. He was looking at the one on the left and didn't see Weatherhold coming up from behind. There's Caleb. All right, Devin Powers with the ball near the jump circle. Goes left side to Dixon. Dixon not being guarded. So he gets in the lane, kicks out the count. Three-pointer right side. Bounces no good. Rebound out of there by Dorsey Emery. Hands it off to Weatherholt. Hornets playing man-to-man. With the goes right side, hands off to Nathan Poole, dribbles to the left elbow, wow. jumps back, fall away, two-pointer, no good. Luke Brown comes out with the rebound, hands it off to Dixon. 